plants structure and function students what help us to easily identify the plants around us which are the various parts of the plants the root stem leaves flowers fruits etc of different plants are different we can identify plants with the help of these different characteristics let us now acquaint ourselves with these plant organs in greater details now today we are going to talk about the roots keep a moistened ball of crumpled paper in a conical flask place some soaked moth pens or gram seeds in a flask between the paper and the glass wall observe and note the changes in the seeds in 2 or 3 days now the part that grows from inside the seed towards the soil is called the radical and the part that grows above the soil is called the plumule the root that forms from the radical grows into the ground the root is thick near the ground and gradually tapers to the pointed end this part of the plant growing below the soil for support is called root roots of some plants produce secondary roots that grow obliquely and spread far and wide in the soil roots support the plant this type of root is called a tap root roots bear hair like processes near the root tips these are root hairs the root tip is delicate this is the region of growth of the root the tip is covered by cap like structure called the root cap the root cap protects the root tip from injuries now you have to take a glass jar and fill 3 quarter of it with water place an onion on the mouth of the jar in such a way that its roots are towards the water now you have to observe the growth of the roots for 8 days now what you will observe a thread like or fiber like roots arising from the stem are called fibrous roots thus there are two main types of roots one is a tap roots and second is a fibrous roots now dicotyledonous plants have tap roots while monocotyledonous plants have fibrous roots now you have to sow the seeds of plants like mustard sorghum that is jowar maize that is corn pea coriander etc in an earthen pot now cultivate the plant for 8 days once the plant grow 15 to 20 cm high uproot them carefully while the soil is moist and put them gently in a large conical flask containing water now the soil will get washed off without any harm to the roots observe the roots carefully to see which plant have tap roots and which ones have fibrous roots now plants like maize sugarcane sorghum have two types of roots some roots are underground whereas some grow from the stem just above the soil the latter are called the adventitious roots besides the normal functions like absorption of water and minerals anchoring and supporting the plant roots perform some other functions too roots show some modifications to perform these additional functions some example of such modified roots are aerial roots stilt roots runners breathing roots that is nematophores etc now take some water in a small glass jar put a plantlet in it in such a way that its roots are dipped in the water mark the water level on the jar and add 5 ml of oil to the water record the water level on the next day now 
what would have happened if plants like tamarind, banyan and mango had fibrous roots? What will happen if the root tip is injured? Which type of roots do the fenugreek, spinach and onion plants have? Why are the underground parts of plants like radish, carrot and beet, sweet potato are thick, fleshy and swollen? Which of the plant are they? You have to collect images of different types of roots and make a project on it. I hope you have learned today's lesson very well. So we will meet in next session. Till then, take care and stay home. Thank you.